But then we have the grandest revelation, that Easter revelation that comes to our, our text in verses 16 through 18. Verses 16 through 18. You can follow along. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned towards him and cried out in Aramaic, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said, Do not hold me, for I have not yet returned to the Father. Go instead to my brothers and tell them, I am returning to my Father and to your Father, and to my God and to your God. Mary Magdalene went to the disciples with the news, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. Fill the light number three, holding on to heaven. Holding on to heaven. Now, I'm not going to do any deep theological uh, exposition on those verses about Mary holding on to Jesus because it made me think, you know, there are times that I've seen people that I haven't seen for a long time. And there have even been occasions where I have seen people that I, I thought I would never see again. And I run up to them, and I hug them, and I hold on to them, and I give them a squeeze. Sometimes I squeeze them so hard they say, hey, I'm okay. I'm here. I'm not dead. But if you don't stop squeezing me, I'm going to be dead. Have you ever hugged anybody like that? Have you ever grabbed onto somebody like that? That's the way Mary grabbed onto Jesus. And he said, hey, I'm here, Mary. I haven't gone back yet, but I, I will be. Mary's response was very simple. I've seen the Lord. Application question number three, underneath your film blank. Are you looking for love in all the right places? Notice I didn't sing the song. Looking for love in all the wrong places. This is the right place. This morning, this place amongst these people, it's the right place to be looking for love. Despite all your disturbing discoveries, are you still looking for love? Despite questions that perhaps have called out from the grave, are you looking for love? Will you hold on to heaven this morning? You can hold on to eternity this morning. If you do what our, our children's praise folks ask them to do, to simply receive Jesus as Savior and Lord, Friends, believing that Easter is more than just bunnies and eggs. Believing that it's about a man who rose from the dead and continues to live even today. I believe, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that Jesus is calling our names this morning. This morning, I believe that Jesus through song, through scripture, through the sermon, or even through the silence that has happened. is calling your name this morning. Now, I, I try to do it at the sunrise service. I, I call everybody's name when we get to that point. And I, I wish I could do it right now. There's so many new faces here. But I can't. Because that's God's job. Is he calling your name this morning? Because if he's calling your name and you know it, you can respond. You can say, teacher, I'm here. But if you don't know, if you don't know who he is, if you don't have that response, that you don't know what to call him, can I encourage you to call him your Savior and your Lord this morning? There is no better time to make that decision than Easter. And I'd ask you to do that now. Let's pray.
Father, thank you so much for giving us your word that shows us this marvelous, miraculous resurrection. Oh God, that you promise each of us can know you and love you and accept you. Oh God, that we can hold on to heaven. This morning, if there are those who do not know you, Lord, I pray that you would call their name in such a real and powerful way that their only response would be, yes, Lord, I'm here. What would you have me to do? Lord, then that they would simply admit that they, they need you. That they would believe that you are who you say. That they would commit their lives to you for the rest of their living days. Lord, we thank you and we praise you. There are some here who have made that decision long, long ago. Would you encourage them? As perhaps they even recommit their lives today, as we do each day, in the hope and in the excitement of meeting you again someday. Thank you, dear Jesus, for this. May it be truly a day of rejoicing for each of us. Through Christ we come. Amen. <coughs>